Greetings, Melvi family. I hope I find you well today, wherever you are. I'm Melusi Jalambi, your host. On this brand new but very pertinent topic that we would like to focus on, you know on this channel we prefer to give you present truth. We prefer to make sure you are informed and you understand what the Bible teaches about certain issues and also looking ahead. The Bible allows us to travel into the future times and see what God said will happen. So on this show, perhaps a four part series we wanna work on for now. If the Lord wills, we might do more. But on this one, I want us to look at Prophecy Outlook series. So we'll really just putting on our lenses, using the literature we have, the Bible, and particularly the book, The Great Controversy. I would encourage you to read it along with watching this series. We're just gonna focus on those topics that talk about present truth and the things that we are going to be dealing with or we are already dealing with right now and we're gonna be dealing with in the future. And so to help me discuss and unpack uh, those topics, God has provided my brother, a colleague, very well read and he understands these issues and he's a professional of not an accountant by training he was telling me offset that he's actually doing his PhD. So we're not talking about someone who's dumb and dull here. We're talking about the best minds God has provided. Brother Noko, greetings and welcome. Thank you, Mr. Melosi. Thank you for having me. I hope I, I hope I represented you well in thank my you, you introduction. <laughs> you did, thank you. What did I miss? No, 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 all is good. <laughs> thank you so much. Right. Now, we do have a topic that I would like us to start with this week. Yes, sir. Um, spiritualism mm -hmm. and to, to our viewers you can definitely look into the book the great controversy chapter 34 it talks about particular issues around spiritualism and here we are talking about a number of things but particularly how the great controversy between God and the evil one is going to use the instrumentality of spiritualism for the purposes of deceiving mm -hmm. the elect. Maybe give us your outlook in terms of, when we talk about the great controversy, what are we talking about, and particularly on spiritualism? What is it that comes to your mind? Thank you, and again, welcome viewers to our session here. Mm -hmm. When we talk about the issue of great controversy, mm -hmm. we're looking at a, a chess game between Christ and Satan. Yeah. And we, by the mere fact that we're born of a woman, mm. are members of that chessboard, mm. whether we like it or we don't. Mm. Unfortunately, Christ uses the rules of the game. Mm. The other player, the devil, can use the rules or not use the rules. Mm. So how he manipulates the rules to his advantage is the devil's uh, strength. And the great controversy places us as members of the chessboard, mm -hmm. at his hands mm -hmm. or at Christ's hands? Mm -hmm. The question is, where are you? Now, as part of the devil's strategy, he has many tools. I already told you he can use truth, he can use yeah. error. Yeah. He is going to, in a desperate move, combine the two. Something which Christ cannot do. Mm. And one of the weapons in combining those two is spiritualism. And he will take advantage of our need to know certain things we're not supposed to know to get us into the bottom of spiritualism. That is an mm. overview. Mm. We'll get uh, mm. a deep uh, a bit later. Yes. Now, let's, let's break down this talk into particular chunks mm -hmm. that we can discuss. Number one, we have prophecy yes. about the great controversy. Mm -hmm. The Bible is replete because this is an outlook session. I don't want us to deep dive into them, mm -hmm. but I want us to place these key prophetic uh, milestones. We have the book of Daniel yes. and we have the book of Revelation. Yes. The writer of the book, The Great Controversy, when she wrote it, Ellen G. White, she was using the stencils and the prophecies of Daniel and Revelation. Now, one of the things I couldn't miss about these topics from chapter 30 going forwards is the constant use of the phrase, last days. Yes. So we're dealing with spiritualism 
in the, the last days. days. All right? Mm -hmm. So that then puts a different spin altogether. Yes. Because the destiny of souls is now at stake. Literally true. You get deceived on this one, mm -hmm. you go one way. Yeah. Because he now knows his time is short and he must deceive as many people as possible. So let's talk a little bit about understanding spiritualism in the last days. What is it our viewers and our listeners must know? And again, the book, Great Controversy, gets into the details of this. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to narrate it. They can go read it. True. But let's highlight what is key about spiritualism in the last days. What are the things we should be uh, aware of? All right. Good question, Mr. Melusi. The devil from time immemorial has mm -hmm. been using various tricks and those tricks have been in context of the times then. So he will not use old school methods to you and I living today. Mm -hmm. He has to adapt his methods to us today. Mm. And he has to adapt spiritualism, which is an age old technique by the way. Yeah. But he has to adapt it to today's context mm -hmm. in the last days. Mm -hmm. For example, the state of the dead. Ah. Yes, that's a big one. Yes. Um, people die. We have lost many loved ones, all well and good. And we do suffer trauma. We do suffer hurt. It is very, very true. Mm. Now, what's the devil's weapon in that regard? Take advantage. Remember, he wants to take advantage. This is a chess game. Yes. He wants to take advantage. He wants to use the rules and not use the rules. So somebody has died. You are hurt. You are grieving. You are mourning. Mm. He takes advantage of that and gives you a false picture of saying, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Mm. He is in heaven. He is singing glory, hallelujah, with our, with our maker. Heaven, or maybe or if, heaven is one and angel. Oh, yes, 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 things like that. Or maybe you know that the, the friend that you have lost, the friend that you have lost mm. was a no good person in society. He mm. was the worst of the worst. But still because he's a relative, he's a friend, you're grieving. He takes advantage again. Mm. He says, don't worry. He is going to help, but you can buy him out. Mm. You can buy him out and transition him from the burning fires of hell into heaven. Those are aspects mm. of spiritualism that the devil has at his arsenal for yes. you and for me. Mm. 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 So I, I, this issue of death, we could sit here for the whole day. Mm -hmm. Death and dying. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's a whole cycle from birth right from the moment someone is conceived, mm -hmm. right throughout their life to the time they die, there is a plethora of teachings and approaches to how life must be handled. True. And for us as Africans, mm -hmm. death is even a conundrum that you don't want to be on African funerals. Yeah. Because one, we tend to keep our grudges for the funeral. Yeah. And then we tend to practice very weird, let me use that word with a bit of license, very weird mm. practices at mm. death. At funerals. And then when you look at the Christian doctrine, it's almost like a, a matrix of so many, or a spectrum of so many teachings around what happens to you when you, you die. die. Mm -hmm. The reason there is that confusion, the reason there is that differences in terms of what happens when you die is purely, and we'll see here mm. from the biblical perspective, that it's for deception. True. Mm -hmm. and, and for deception, you don't need the whole Bible to be corrupted. Yeah. You only need one. A little bit. Just mm. like to create a poison in a glass of water, you mm. don't need the whole glass to be poisoned. Yeah. It's just, just a drop. A drop. So let's look at some of the key teachings mm. That come from chapter 34. Okay. I know you have read this extensively, <laughs> yeah. so I'm prepared to yeah. listen, to sit here and listen yeah. to you <laughs> just <laughs> teach. <laughs> yeah. From the book Red Controversy, chapter 34, right. what are the key teachings that come through from there regarding spiritualism in the last days? Well, the title of the chapter, like it says, are the dead really dead? Can the dead talk to us? Can the dead communicate? Can we communicate with the dead? Mm -hmm. Why does the spirit of prophecy introduce that. I think there's a reason behind it. Mm. Now, remember, this is an age-old practice, and we are looking at it in the context of the last days. Yeah. Go back to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18. Now, I won't cite it, mm -hmm. but God gives a particular rule. Let nobody be found among you 
who communicates with the dead. Mm. That's way back in Deuteronomy before ancient Israel was even set up as a nation. Mm. And God already says this is a problem. In that context, mm. Satan's aware of it, that God knows it's a problem. Mm. But now we are in 2023. Mm. People will not go looking for the dead person. That means they're going to manipulate the situation mm. and try other ways, or rather let me say Satan will try other ways mm. to make sure that you and I break that injunction from the Lord. Because that injunction is too everlasting, by the way. Yeah. So how will Satan do that? They let, they let nobody be found among you mm -hmm. in 2023, by the mm. way, mm. who speaks with the dead. I'm sure you've heard of uh, uh, necromantas. Yes. Uh, people who, have, who, who claim to be able to uh, communicate with the dead, mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. if, if, if you are, are bothered by one thing or the other, maybe see you say, ah, can I talk to my father? Can I talk to my grandfather? He had so much wisdom. Mm. And, and you look for somebody along this with that skill set yes and and that person sure enough will bring up somebody who looks like your father mm. speaks like your father talks like your father even tells you all about you and even tells you where your birthmark is mm. and you are more than convinced on the weight of the evidence that this is there please note mm -hmm. this is not a, a show this is not a tv series this is a real thing god said it back then mm. let there be nobody found among you who can communicate with the dead meaning it is a possibility then mm. it's a possibility now mm. so god says it's possible for you to talk to someone who's dead it's very possible but god says let nobody be found among you who can do that but let's clarify that uh, brother kitsu uh -huh. this this creature let me use that word. Yes. That is then brought up and speaks, talks, has mannerisms like your father. Uh -huh. Is that really your father? The answer is no. Categorically, no. And that's what God was trying to tell us. That exactly. if you attempt to do that, you are not going to be talking to the dead person who you claim to be your father, but you'll be talking face to face with the enemy of souls himself. The demons the of demons. hell. Oh, yes. They will impersonate your yeah. dead loved ones effectively impersonate the dead loved ones mm. yes second mm. second chronicles uh, second corinthians chapter 11 i think yeah. gives us a, a hint to that to say satan mm -hmm. can do what transform himself into an angel, angel of, of light. light no wonder marvel minister too can do the same thing yeah so we I, i've been alive for some 30 plus years you've been mm. alive for some 40 plus years the angels of satan have been mastering us mm. they've been studying us Yes. They know our traits, they know our weaknesses, our strengths, our mannerisms, everything, such that when we meet our demise, yes. should somebody who is not holy in Christ yes. look for me to come from the grave, Satan will provide. Ah, mm -hmm. and this is where the deception comes in. Exactly. Because this thing <clears throat> comes with so much power, mm -hmm. all right, and it's so convincing, Yes. and it's filling a hall of knowledge Mm. and excitement and thrill mm. such that you get caught in yeah. to say, now I've got access to. I heard a story being told about a woman who lost his son in the war, right? the, the Vietnam War. Okay. And so she would then get the son visiting. Mm -hmm. And she would always go to a certain place and the son would visit and she would talk to the son and she would go away. And then one day the pastor says, no, that's not your son. Mm. that you're talking to. And she says, no, that is my mm. son and I know my son. So the pastor says, bring him home then. Yeah. When you meet him there, why don't you bring mm. him to his house, to mm. this house, and he sleeps there and give him food, let mm. him eat. Mm. And so it was a journey for this woman to be unwinded from that spiritual experience, yeah. which was leading her to mm. deception. Yeah. So, so let's get into the Bible. What does the Bible say? Is there any... Cancel. In my head already, what comes to my mind is the troubled King Saul. Yes. Mm -hmm. First Samuel he chapter 16 not, and 17. Exactly. He had not listened to prophet Samuel when he was alive. Yes. He disobeyed God. Mm -hmm. And Samuel told him, as you have torn my robe, mm -hmm. the kingdom is taken away from you. Right. Samuel dies. And Saul now wants some answers from God because God no longer talks to him. Mm-hmm. So he goes to the witch of Endor. Of Endor. Yeah. 
disguised. He says, what can I do for you? Bring me Samuel. And Samuel mm. comes up. True, he does. The Bible records that story. Samuel comes up uh -huh. and he says, why are you disturbing me? Yeah. <laughs> can I answer that question with yes. a verse first? Uh -huh. Before we go to the actual Samuel. Because yes. this verse that I'll ask you to read, 2 Thessalonians, mm -hmm. chapter 2. Yes. Verse, verse 11. Two. Verse 2. Mm -hmm. Verse 2 to mm -hmm. 4. Verse 2 to 4. But I'll actually like verse 11. Okay, let's go to verse 11, yes. And for this cause, God sent them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Mm -hmm. That's the one verse I was Verse 2. For. That's the one, eh? Yes, that's the one. Thank you for that correction. Yes, that's the one. Yeah. So let's look at verse 9 to verse 11. Mm, verse right. 9 then says, Even him yes. whose coming is after the working of Satan right. with all power and signs and lying wonders right. and with all deceivableness mm -hmm. of unrighteousness in them that perish mm -hmm. because they received not the love of the truth mm -hmm. that they might be saved. Right. For this cause, verse 11 now, mm -hmm. God sent them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Question. Mm. Uh, remember our discussion is King Saul. Yes. Which came first, the truth or the lie? According to this verse. According to this verse, it's, yeah. the, it's, the, it's, it's the deception. No. Verse 9 tells us the truth Even came. him who's coming after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Mm -hmm. Then verse 10. Verse 10, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Yeah. Because, because they, oh yeah, I get it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So which came first, the truth or the lie? They rejected the truth which came first. So all forms of deception that you can think of mm -hmm. will only come once you refuse the truth. Mm. That's so a... Powerful yeah. perspective. So once we get that, that 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 theory out of the way, then it becomes easy for us to understand why Saul did what he did. Ah. And you actually made mention of it in your earlier discourse. He had Samuel. Yes. He spoke to Samuel. Mm -hmm. He didn't listen to Samuel. Yeah. Samuel eventually died. Mm. Then when he needs Samuel, unfortunately, who provides this answers for him? Yeah. A demon. Mm. Why was that? Because when Samuel was alive, he did not accept the truth. That's true. So one of the key issues with King Saul yeah. is that he perpetually rejected the truth of God as given to him by the prophet back then. Mm. So why are we going to be deceived by the issues of the dead? Yeah. Because right now, whilst we are alive, opportunity is being presented to us from the word to accept truth. Mm. And when truth comes and goes, it becomes easy for lies to take, um, to take, to take place. That's so true. Yes. That's so that's so exactly true. what happened to King Saul. Mm. And, in, in, and that's a model. Yeah. If, you look, if you look throughout all, all, all Bible, if mm. that's a model that, 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 that shows us how we find ourselves walking towards petition through deception. Yeah. So as things stand right now, we are talking. Mm -hmm. The dead know nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're accepting it. You don't know if I'm accepting it, but we are talking. Yes. And if in my background, I may know this thing intellectually, mm. but I don't accept it. Maybe in my private space, I do necromant the dead. Yes. Eventually, the Spirit of God will depart from me, mm -hmm. as did so. And when the Spirit of the devil takes over, that's it for me. You are hooked. I'm hooked. You're gone. Yeah. Yes, and he will provide you with that appearance of the exactly. dead. And you will talk. Uh -huh. And you will do your rituals. And I'll accept the messages. Exactly. Keyword, messages. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what else does the Bible say about the state of the dead? Because this for me is the point of separating and helping our viewers and ourselves mm -hmm. to be ready for these last days when the devil then deceives us. What? does the Bible say about the dead? Because well, remember the first lie mm -hmm. I remember was told in the Bible at the point of deception of Eve was, yes. did God say, say you shall not you. eat of all the trees in the garden of Eden? That's mm -hmm. how the question was posed. Yeah. And Eve said, no, we may eat of all, but not of that one. Yeah. And then the lie came in. Mm -hmm. No. 
Because yes. she says, the day we eat of it, we shall we surely die. die. It says, mm. you shall not <laughs> surely die. die. So the key word is surely. Yes. Death is death, but death this one it says not surely. surely. Yes. So he sets the trigger. At that point. And the basis for him coming later on mm -hmm. to teach humanity that yes, you death. die, but. There's this afterlife. There's Those. these other versions. Yes. There's all of these things that can take place. Yeah. So there are other avenues. Mm -hmm. And all of those things are, are, are tricks and traps that he uses to deceive us. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you've rightly given us the, 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 the verse where all of this began. Mm. You shall not surely die. It continues all the way down to the book of Ecclesiastics. The dead know nothing. Yes. Uh, the, 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 the wise man tells us that you and I are like vapor. The mm. moment you go back into the ground, mm -hmm. we cease to exist. Mm -hmm. Classical uh, preachers of yesterday year would use a light bulb mm -hmm. as an example. Yes. Right? Yes. I never understood it back then. I accepted it theoretically, but only recently now I got to see how, why the light bulb concept was, was, yeah. was used. So, light is a combination of the bulb and, and energy. And the element, yes. Yes. The elements plus the energy. Exactly. Mm. So, remove the three parts, you have no light. And that's exactly what happens to you and me when we die. Mm. My existence, my existence, my being, my being, Kito, yes. is a combination of the spirit. Yes. Combination of the dust. Yes. And the resulting is the soul. My, my personality, the soul. The living soul. Soul, yes. yes. That's you the are result. a soul right now. Speaking to you right now, I'm a living soul. So without, without the combination of those, Any there's one of no them, soul. There's no soul. Yeah. That's yeah. why, that's why uh, the wise man says that should any one of these go mm. in the grave, there's vapor, no living soul. Yes, it's just like vapor you, in the air. That's you, it. You Do, cease to, to exist. exist. I exactly. like what Job says when he says, when you die, mm -hmm. your seat does not even know you. True. Yeah. Your children are elevated uh -huh. and you wouldn't even know. They are put down, you don't even know. know. Because yeah. you are dead. You've yeah. gone to what he calls the quiet or silent place. Yes. The Bible goes on to, to tell us mm -hmm. that sooner or later, we don't know when, those people who have died will be resurrected. Mm -hmm. So, if there is going to be a resurrection, a resurrection from where? Yes. It cannot be from heaven. Because they're already there. They're already there. There's no yeah. point them resurrected. <laughs> right? Yes. So, it yeah. must be from somewhere else. It yeah. can't be from, in quotes, hell, because they've been burnt by the everlasting fire, mm. as what current uh, theologians believe. Yeah. So where is the resurrection going to come from? It will come from where they were put to sleep, exactly. in the ground. Yes. 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 So at the twinkling of an eye, uh -huh. at the sounding of the trumpet, uh -huh. 1 Corinthians 15 from verse 51. And again, Paul premises that the whole scripture about the resurrection and the transformation by saying, we must not be ignorant there we go. about the state of the dead, uh -huh. those who die henceforth. Yeah. Then he goes into an explanation right through until verse 54, 55, there about yeah. at the twinkling of an eye, uh -huh. those who are in the graves shall be resurrected unto life. Uh -huh. And we who remained, I think I'm not quoting Thessalonians. <laughs> yes, I'm, I've moved from, from, but he says, we shall be changed. This yes, immortal shall put on Immortality. immortality, yes. So that this body that dies uh -huh. puts on a state of not being able to die again. True. So until that time, mm -hmm. between here and then, we die and we go and we sleep. Uh -huh. We have no reward on what happens nothing, on the earth. Nothing at all. And any teaching that therefore says I am alive somewhere, uh -huh. it comes from that drop enemy. of the enemy that poisons yeah. Our beliefs mm -hmm. and our teachings. Very true. And we therefore will be lost. Anything you want to add there on the state of Very the Very quickly. Um, I, I, I play, uh, the university and tertiary education is my playground now. All right. That's where I am. And we talk about these things called prerequisites to graduation and what have you. Mm -hmm. You've rightly indicated a verse whereby Paul says, do not be ignorant yes. on this issue. Ellen White goes on to say, in the same book that was studying, Great Controversy, yeah. there are some books that we cannot avoid. We must study them. Mm -hmm. So in my academic circles, this is what I'll say. Mm -hmm. 
prerequisite for us going to, to heaven yeah. is understanding prophecies of Daniel and Revelation mm. and not being ignorant on the issue of the state of the dead. Yes. Am I saying that you will be saved by this knowledge? No. Mm. I am saying that God has given you an injunction whilst you are alive yeah. to study mm. Daniel, Revelation mm. and the state of the dead. Mm. So I encourage our viewers to take active steps in taking time to study what happens mm. to somebody when they die. Yes. So the Bible then, I wish we had more time. I think we can take a few minutes to, and if our viewers have questions, please do drop them below. would like to know what it is that you want more clarity on on this subject matter. But the issue of death and resurrection has mm -hmm. always been a contested issue in the Bible. Yes. Such that there were people in Paul's days who says, if we don't believe in resurrection. Mm -hmm. And many even dismissed the fact that Jesus died and actually resurrected. Yeah. The rumor that was spread among the Roman elite was they stole his, his body. body. Yeah. And therefore go kill those people mm -hmm. because they are imposters and kill that religion. Mm -hmm. And so the first biggest discourse in the New Testament becomes the state of okay. Christ and whether he is dead or alive. Yeah. And even one of his disciples mm -hmm. didn't believe yeah. that he has resurrected. He says, I won't believe what you are saying. Until Just like someone out there might be saying, I don't believe what these men are talking about uh -huh. until I prove it true. So Thomas doesn't believe until Jesus just appears in this room that they have locked. Uh -huh. And now he is in another state which is not limited by the physical doors that we lock That's and awesome. we are safe inside. He just appears amongst them and says, peace be upon you. Upon you. Mm -hmm. And Thomas finally falls down and says, my Lord and my God. Mm -hmm. So there are people right now who are not believing that in death we actually lie silently mm -hmm. and that there is hope for resurrection. Yeah. The question they will have is, but some people have been dead for thousands of years. We've actually built these houses on top of oh, other people's graves. Please. So how is it going to happen? Wow, that's a lovely question. <laughs> yeah. This is a message on the resurrection, and um, it's, a, it's a beautiful study on its own, but I'll just give you a, a helicopter view of, mm -hmm. of, of this thing. Mm -hmm. Death and resurrection are key pillars of our faith. Yeah. I will lose hope immediately, according to First Corinthians chapter fifteen. Mm. If I if a loved one dies, and that's there's, it, there's no hope. Yeah, of resurrection. That's what Paul says. Yes. But Paul says, if that were true, mm. then this Christ whom I'm talking to you about yes. also is dead. Mm. But you are the same people who have testified that you saw him alive, mm. and his resurrection is proof that there is something beyond the grave, a happier thing beyond the grave. And we look forward to that thing until then, mm. until then mm. we remain where? In, In the, the grave. grave. And he now clarifies himself by saying, David, Our a patriarch. man, yes, yes, a man was after God's own heart. Mm. He still remains where? In the, In the grave. grave. Mm. So both the, the message of the, of the state of the dead and the message of the, what do you call this thing? Resurrection, yeah, are, are very, very key to our faith in Jesus Christ. Mm. Mm. Maybe let me just add on something slightly different here. Yeah. Why is this story about the state of the dead and spiritualism a big deal? Mm -hmm. Because there is yet another thorny issue in 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 Christianity today. Mm -hmm. And if Satan can get the state of the dead issue done and dusted, as yeah. far as he's concerned, mm. then this other issue will be the easiest thing for him to manipulate okay. the Sabbath. Aha. Uh -huh. Think how, of it this how way. How is it related? Think of it this way. Yeah. Now, Kitulapa, mm -hmm. a, a, a preacher on the Sabbath truth, yes. uh, holds the Sabbath truth dearly mm -hmm. in support of what the Bible has been teaching about the Sabbath, yeah. right? Yeah. And many have respected Elder Kito so many times. They've mm. respected him, mm. and he dies. Mm -hmm. And you have not held on to the message of the state of the dead correctly. And Satan sees that your understanding of this thing is very shallow. Mm -hmm. He raises a respectable preacher, Ukizo, from the dead through his, uh, his partners, the, yes. the, the, the demons. The necromancers and the demons. And, and Kizo says, do you know what? I was wrong about the Sabbath issue. 
Oh. I was wrong about the state of the dead. I'm actually happy this side. I'm actually happy this side, <laughs> and I've just received a <laughs> message from the father himself to say, can you correct yes. this thing whilst yes. you still have a chance? Wow. There's no sanctuary to talk about. Wow. You know, all those things. And because of the influence that I drew in my physical life mm. and the great mystery that has been uh, uh, unraveled by Satan in my dead life, mm. it's easier to draw more to error. All right. Paul then says in 1 Thessalonians yeah. uh, chapter, chapter 2 now. Yeah. No, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Sorry, 1 Corinthians. Mm -hmm. He says, do not accept deception of any kind. Mm. Even if it comes a, from, from me an, after yeah. I am gone. Yeah, or an angel. Or an angel. Yes. Paul says that even if it comes, if they don't speak according to the scriptures. It is because there's no light There is in no them. light. Don't accept it. Mm. So this is what Satan, I think, is his biggest agenda. Whereby, yeah. if he solidifies our misunderstanding of the mm -hmm. state of the dead and mm -hmm. spiritualism, it's so easy to wreck off other fundamentals mm -hmm. of our faith. Yeah. Very, very easy. Yeah, yeah. So, so, the, so, so you're saying there is a, an, a, there is a plan yeah. that he's, he's working on to bring some of the great men that were respected in the religious sector mm -hmm. to come and teach and change. In fact, this is what he talks about, the great delusion of Satan appearing himself uh, as an angel of light yes. and saying God has now changed the Sabbath, Sabbath. Uh -huh. and he raises the dead to even confirm that. To confirm that. Not that, not, not that he raises the dead, but he impersonates the dead. through his demons. Yes. This is hectic stuff. It is. It is. That's why Christ himself even warns to say, even the very elect will, will be, be deceived. deceived. Wow, yeah. this is deep. Now, I wanted to reinforce the issue of resurrection from, John, from the teachings of Jesus himself okay. in John chapter 5. All right. Uh, where he, he is talking about, um, he's talking to the Sanhedrin, uh -huh. the Jewish leaders, and they are rejecting his ministry. Uh -huh. On chapter um, 5, verse 28 and 29, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, he says, Marvel noted this, for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice uh -huh. and shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Uh -huh. Now, Jesus is categorizing resurrections into two classes. Yeah. That there's a resurrection unto life. Yes. And there's a resurrection unto Death. damnation. Mm -hmm. Daniel spoke about it. Yes, he did. Michael shall stand up to chapter 12. Verse 1 and 2. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, many shall be resurrected unto life, but some to condemnation. Revelation 20 goes into the depths of this subject matter of the mm. first resurrection and mm. the, second the second resurrection. Yes. Talk to us a little bit about that because death is not the end of it. Uh -huh. If you think you're going to exit and you, are f you finish everything, you kill yourself mm. or you shoot that person and you think that's the end of it or you shoot yourself, uh -huh. that's not the end of it. No, it's not. God is going to wake you up Mm -hmm. to face the consequences of your actions. Yes. Talk to us a little bit about that concept of ah. resurrection into the life and into damnation. Right. So the verse is very clear. There will be resurrection. Mm -hmm. Everybody will be subject to resurrection. Mm. Life, for those who have done right. Yes. Damnation, for those who have done wrong. Evil. Yeah. Right. Mm. Revelation chapter 6, I think should be the last three or four verses, mm. going to Revelation chapter 7. Mm. We are seeing the, the plagues now doing their damage on the earth. Yeah. And the, the wicked are the only ones who are alive. Mm. Right? Mm. The righteous have been taken to heaven. Mm. And, and the wicked cry, they cry, fall on us. Yes, and hide Rock, us. Hide us, kill us. We, 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 yes. we, we can't stand uh, this thing the glory of the one who's coming yes and 
they, they get their wish. Mm. The f rocks fall on them, they die in, in what have you. All well and good. That's a, that is the, the death of the living wicked when mm. Christ comes. All right. Now we go into the judgment. Yeah. After a thousand years, Revelation 20 introduces yes. a thousand years to say, after a thousand years are finished, mm. then the rest of the dead, yes. this is now the, the, the wicked dead, Yes. who are a combination of the living mm -hmm. who, who cried mm -hmm. and those who have been dead from Already. time immemorial, mm. but they all wicked. Mm. The rest of the dead then what? were raised up mm -hmm. to receive their final judgment, judgment which is mm. uh, burning sulfur and, yes. and, and, and hellfire as we know it today. Yeah. And our prayer is we don't form mm. the second resurrection. Yes. Death is a certainty. Mm -hmm. We are going to die. Mm -hmm. But we should pray that our death should lead us to the first resurrection, mm. Mm. whereby we are going to be raised into life. Yeah. And we'll be resurrected and we'll catch up with the others mm -hmm. in the clouds. In the skies, yes. yes. So this is what Paul says, we who are living shall not see Christ first before uh -huh. the dead. Correct. But the dead must be resurrected. Dead first. Yes. Right? And they'll go up and we who and are we'll alive. And caught up together. Yeah, with him. The Bible is very clear on these things and I wonder mm. why people get deceived. So talk to us in this day as we wrap up this thing. Your mm -hmm. thoughts around how do we protect ourselves from such clear deceptions that the Bible speaks about mm -hmm. that will happen in our days. Why are we getting deceived? Where right. are we getting it wrong? Thank you. I gave you a model earlier. Mm -hmm. Which comes first, the truth or the error? The truth. Start with the truth. So dig for it. People must dig for the truth. When people hear the truth, they must accept the truth. Or investigate it like the Bereans. Fair enough, they must investigate it. Yes. We're, we're doing a, a, a program for them right now. Yeah. I challenge them to go and verify what we have spoken about through the, the eyes of the scriptures. I would say they must just um, go read this chapter. In detail, yes, they should. On the great controversy. Mm -hmm. I'm not even talking about Adventists. I'm just saying if you're a believer of Christ, mm -hmm. you want to read this book called The Great Controversy. Yes. Don't take my word for it viewers. Mm -hmm. Don't even take our word for it. Go in your own Bible or find a study guide. We will pin some below that will help you to go through all the scriptures that talk about the dead. Mm -hmm. And let's establish the state mm -hmm. of the dead. True. Because once you are dead, mm -hmm. it's finished. Yeah. We only have, you know, I always say this kids or two to people. Mm -hmm. Did you know that if we take death out of the equation of our life right now, mm -hmm. There are so many things that we stress about that become nothing at all. Mm. The concept of death mm -hmm. and resurrection, if I'm to take it away, <laughs> you don't need medical aid. <laughs> true. Uh, you true, get it? True, yeah. You might not even need to worry about hunger. Yeah. Yeah. Which is one of the biggest the killers. Issues. Not only overeating as well. Yeah. You won't even have to worry about accidents. Because there's no death. There's no death. Yeah. Death is a game changer. Yeah. And that's why God says it's the last enemy, mm -hmm. First Corinthians 15, to be destroyed. That I will destroy. Yeah. And so talk to us about what else we can do to avoid this deception in this day. Yeah. Apart from constant Bible study, mm -hmm. have a real connection with Jesus prayer, a prayer lifestyle. Mm. When you read Great Controversy, chapter 34, and even chapter 30, yeah. there's, a para there's a sentence that the author says there. Mm -hmm. The author says, Satan is making efforts to break down all the barriers, barriers. Yeah. that are there to protect people from deception. Yes, yes. He's going out of his way. Mm. You find this in Matthew 24, verse 1 and 2, yeah. where Christ says, the biggest thing you should be worried about now mm. is deception. Yeah. And the model I gave you earlier, which comes first, truth the or tr error? The truth. Truth will always come first. Yeah. Truth will always come first. And when you are exposed to truth, mm. you compare it with error. Mm -hmm. You will see the gaps. Yes. 
We, yes. The U.S. government does not train its bankers on how to on 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 fake notes. Mm -hmm. They train their bankers mm -hmm. on legitimate U.S. dollar notes. Yeah. So that when a fake note does come, they can tell that this mm. one is not. Yeah. True. It's not true. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, the biggest challenge we have in our last days is the fact that we can be deceived. Yes, we can. On this matter of the dead and spiritualism and manifest spiritual manifestations, let me say. Yeah. The devil is not joking. No, he, he has does. created yeah. a science mm -hmm. that is now even taught in high schools and in secondary school in secondary schools and colleges. Mm -hmm. And he has created remember Ephesians six says we fight not against flesh and blood, blood. but against principalities. Uh -huh. So there are hierarchies and levels in this thing. Powers Mm -hmm. The hierarchies of these things, uh -huh. all right, mm -hmm. and powers in high places and dark forces. And so we have to know the truth as it is in Christ. True, yes. And by that I'm saying, try to read your Bible a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Don't believe everything you see and hear online, not even to us. Yeah. Search for yourself mm -hmm. and get to know what the Bible says on these things. And not only that, Go to your pastor mm -hmm. with the evidence and the sum of the evidence you're getting from the Bible and ask them to give you an answer yeah. on these topics and see whether they will speak for God or they are the angels that have transformed into themselves, the ministers mm -hmm. of Satan the, who have transformed themselves into the, the ministers and angels of light. So there's a lot of deception out there, people yes. who don't believe in what the Bible say. And one thing I definitely highly recommend to our readers is question what you believe. Yes. Best on the Bible. Well, because scriptures. unfortunately, kids, so there are some who unfortunately were, re era came first mm -hmm. before the truth came. <laughs> there are those cases, that's true. Yeah, so you might have been living this thing, you might have been practicing it, you learned it from your great, great grandfathers, it's a family tradition. Mm -hmm. You've always done it that way. Yeah. But here now comes Gizzo and Melusi saying, uh-uh, you are deceived. Yeah. So for some, I highly recommend mm -hmm. you question your beliefs and practices based on what this the book says. says. Yes. So that if there is room for you to need to change, then you must repent mm -hmm. and receive the truth. Now, give me your final thoughts as we wrap this, this study, your insights mm -hmm. into an advice on our viewers on this topic of spiritualism. Spiritualism is a really thorny issue, mm -hmm. especially in Christian society today. Yeah. The name spiritualism suggests that churches are highly, what's the word, involved, interested mm -hmm. in these things. So mm. it should not be easy to, to shake off many yeah. of the deep-rooted beliefs that you currently hold. I, mm. I, I admit that, I accept yeah. that. But hold on to the scriptures as they are given mm. to you. Hold on to your Jesus. Yes. Because spiritualism, as we have indicated, mm -hmm. can twist the tables for life or yes. for death. Yeah. If we don't have spiritualism properly grounded, mm. all other foundations of our faith in Christ will be torn out. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I pray to my viewers, I pray yeah. to us that we hold on to what the Bible says. That mm. is the advice I can share mm. today. Amen. Thank you so much, my no, brother. No, thank you. Looking forward to the next episode. And to our viewers out there, if you have any questions, comments, and issues you want to discuss with us, just drop a comment below or get in touch with us. We'll be very happy. The word I want to give to you today is be vigilant. Be, be very cautious. Your enemy is roaring like a lion seeking whom he may deceive and devour. And therefore, study your Bible. And get to know the truth for yourself and for your children. God bless you. I hope to see you in the next episode. This has been the program, Prophecy Outlook. God bless you. Amen.